reporter gene assays are used to study signaling pathways, gene regulation, and the structure of regulatory elements. In its simplest form, a reporter assay consists of a regulatory element of interest cloned into a vector with a reporter gene. The reporter gene encodes a protein with an easily measurable activity. We will be using the bioluminescent activity of luciferase for our reporter. Upstream regulatory elements affecting expression of the reporter gene can include potential promoters, known promoters, partial promoters, and enhancer elements. Reporter assays can also be used to study elements in the 3' untranslated region, like microRNA recognition elements, or MREs. Now that you have created a construct with your regulatory element and a reporter gene, the next step is transfecting cells. When studying upstream elements, the messenger RNA is transcribed from active promoters. Experimental conditions can modulate the activity of the promoter. Weak promoters make less messenger RNA, while strong promoters make more messenger RNA. Messenger RNA is translated into active protein, so the amount of luciferase is dependent on the activity of the regulatory element. In the case of microRNA recognition elements, the signal depends on the binding of microRNA to the 3' untranslated region, blocking translation in animal cells or leading to messenger RNA degradation in plants. How do you correct for variables in your reporter assay, like cell number and transfection efficiency? Dual luciferase reporter assays. For a dual luciferase assay, transfect with a control plasmid constitutively expressing a second luciferase. The ratio of experimental luciferase activity to control luciferase activity corrects for variables in your reporter assay. Promega supplies three different luciferases for reporter assays. Firefly luciferase is great for routine genetic reporter assays. Ranilla luciferase is used as a control. And nanoluc luciferase, a smaller, brighter luciferase, best suited for research in challenging biological systems, can be used as a single reporter or as a primary or secondary reporter in the nano-DLR assay.